All right, let's take you out right now, show you what's going on. Our Channel 3 early warning dual pole radar scanning the state dry. Uh, there's some fog out there, ladies and gentlemen. I got to look at this live eye cam. This is what you were driving through. Nicole, this is what you were driving through. <laughs> it was not fun. This was, is look, video look behind you. Look at, look at, look. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's tough everywhere you go. It's tough. It's like a scene out of a Halloween movie. <laughs> Hartford, 56 degrees with fog out there. It is pea soupy. And give peas a chance. Yeah. They have a lot of protein. They do have a lot of protein. Can you tell my son that, please? He doesn't. He won't eat peas, huh? Uh, he won't eat any green veggies. That's my boy. That's my boy. 57 degrees right now in New Haven. I don't think I eat pea. I don't think I ate green vegetables until I was like 29. Really? Yeah, no. no you're, just, you're turning out okay. Yeah, it turned out all right. Yeah, you're growing. A little flabby, but I'm all right. Oh, 54 in Hartford. <laughs> 53 in Durham, 56 in Old Saybrook, and Lakeville, at one of the cooler spots at 50, but that's still five degrees above average. All of the numbers are good this morning. We're in the low to mid to upper 50s. Look at this, 59 in Chester. Ooh. That is almost 15 degrees. Uh, it's balmy out there, and the numbers are up from yesterday, anywhere from one to six degrees better than yesterday. The winds are calm, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so here are your headlines. It really is foggy in parts of the state. You gotta be real careful out there, okay? Partly to mostly sunny. It's gonna take a while for this fog to burn off, just like yesterday. Yesterday, I came out of the uh, Great Day Connecticut studios, and there was still fog in Rocky Hill. I was like, it's 11 o'clock, what is happening? Uh, so that fog is gonna be a little tough to burn off. Partly to mostly sunny, though, once it does, and then we're looking at a cloudy weekend with some spot showers, particularly on Sunday. Satellite and radar confirms we're under clear skies where there is no fog, and according to early warning future cast, ignore the green little dots, it's nothing. Uh, we are gonna be under partly to mostly sunny skies during the day today. All right, Saturday, this is one o'clock in the morning. It's cloudy. Watch the flow coming in off the open waters of the Atlantic. That northeasterly flow is persnickety, and it likes to bring in clouds, and it likes to try to bring in showers. This is uh, Saturday night, just after midnight. So most of Sunday is looking dry. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. But then Sunday afternoon, we do start to see some rain developing. This is, I know, this is 4 p.m. Uh, unfortunately, there's a system that's coming up from the south, and it looks like we're going to be on the northern fringe of this system. Uh, so between about 4 and 9 o'clock on Sunday, we are expecting showers. Fog early, then sunny and mild. Uh, your seven-day forecast, partly to mostly cloudy. Temperatures are above normal. Uh, tonight, again, in the upper 40s, low 50s. And then your seven-day forecast includes cooler weather for the upcoming weekend. We drop by about 10 degrees with a chance for some showers on Sunday. There could be a sprinkle around tomorrow, maybe a little drizzle, but it won't have too much of an impact on the Eversource Hartford Marathon. And then Sunday, mostly cloudy, cool, with some scattered showers in the afternoon. Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the temperatures start moving back up into the mid-70s. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty good week coming up.